Hello, I'm Aubrey Shepard, and we want to show you some photos. A couple, two or three of these I may have shown a couple of weeks ago, but uh, this is pretty uh, interesting stuff because Joe Neal, who knows, spends more time outdoors in the area than about anybody except me, and probably maybe a lot more than I do. I'm just not sure because you can't keep up with him. But anyway, he pointed out my photos of the uh, Diana fritillary are uh, pretty rare in this area. He said he had never seen one in Northwest Arkansas. Joe worked for the Forest Service and used to go all over the, the National Forest, the Washita Mountains, and all over the whole area of, of Arkansas. I mean, he, he, was, he got around a lot. And uh, he said he'd never seen one. North of Mount Magazine, and that's been the story that was told from the time of uh, I don't know, two, three years ago, something, four, that it was announced that the Diana Fritillary had been named the Arkansas State Butterfly. This is a male uh, Diana Fritillary, and the female is black in contrast with his brown or black on orange. See how well he matches into the uh, butterfly milkweed. If he didn't have the dark patch and he were on there, he would just seem like part of the flowers, I guess, uh, part of the inflorescence of, of tiny flowers you see there. Anyway, um, so I thought, well, I'll show them more of them tonight. So we've got about 25, I guess. And there's the same male fritillary over on uh, some leaves. And uh, now he's back out in the sunshine. This was on a very hot day. 21st of June and uh, it was probably it was a little afternoon it was probably uh, uh, close to 100 degrees that day I mean it was really hot and I was sort of burning up I followed him over there once or twice but he'd fly over there after he nectared a little bit then he'd come back to the flower so I realized I could just stand still and and get a little closer and make some uh, true close-ups of this little guy but uh, it is a relatively rare butterfly. In some states, it's considered threatened or endangered or something. But uh, I did read a report that uh, they, they have been found in southern Missouri, which indicates that uh, they're not uh, unlikely to appear in northwest Arkansas. It's just a lot of people haven't seen them. Everybody's seen pictures of this or the, the darker female on the state uh, license plates put out for Game and Fish Commission. But uh, they, they uh, I, I'd love to hear from somebody else who's photographed a Diana Fritillary, and maybe people will see this. I hope you'll start looking and, and photograph them if they're around the flowers in your yard. But anyway, that's why I'm wasting uh, five whole minutes with this same butterfly. But uh, Joe said, well, you got to share that more because a, a lot of people believe they're not here. And uh, this, this is what we're doing today. And of course, I've got more photos than this. I think I've got 36 from that day or something on my um, Flickr photo site. And that would be a, a uh, I, I just created a site just for the Diana Fritillary, or a, what I'm saying, not a separate site, but a separate set of photos on, on my Flickr site. So anyway, if you type in my name, you may be able to find it, or you go to my uh, blog spot that we promote most often on here, uh, aubreyshepard.blogspot.com, then you'll see um, a link to my Flickr photos. Anyway, it's a beautiful butterfly. I don't know if it's the only one that would have been a good choice, but, uh, or state butterfly, but it is your Arkansas state butterfly. So let's celebrate it, and please uh, hope you'll get out and enjoy the outdoors right now. If you go to the native prairie plant areas, wildflower areas, you're going to find a lot of species that bloom this time of year for a relatively short time, and they, they simply don't, uh, don't last long enough for you to go out and see them just any time you want to. You need to be out. If you, if you find a good prairie area with wildflowers, go regularly and just see the changes every week. World Peace Wetland Prairie is one of them uh, right here in town uh, in Pinnacle Prairie adjacent to it. 
See, there's a guy up pretty close. See his eyeballs and face a bit. But um, also, Chastity uh, Prairie, where I went this weekend, we'll have some photos from there on the next short take. Here's, let's see, that's the uh, blunt um, milkweed plant. Okay, until next time, the Sarber Shepherd actually do your part to help keep the water clean, air pure, woods green. It's 